David Lagerkrans is a Swedish writer and journalist. He wrote a world bestseller, the biography of football player Zlatan Ibrahimovic. He accomplished an incredible thing. He followed up on Stig Larsson's global blockbuster Millennium, when he wrote books like The Girl in the Spider's Web and The Girl Who Lived Twice and more. In Hollywood they are making films based on his books and his stories are being translated around the world. Where does the path lead from Sweden to world readers? What are the doubts you have to face when building on the successful Millennium Detective story? And when will it be the time to leave this topic and devote one's own inspiration and imagination? When you have been a small boy, uh, did you have uh, many visions and many fantastic words or just the opposite side? Everything, many actions, many things to do, many interests. How it was with you? Uh, as a small you, David. Yeah, you know, I, I, I grew up in this very literary home. You uh -huh. know, my father was this great intellectual. So I think I rebelled. So I didn't read, I was just into sports. Uh -huh. So that's what I did. I was dreaming to be, you know, a soccer player like this. And, and you played the soccer? I played football and I did I mean, all kinds of sports. All right. But then, you know, it all changed. And when the fantasy starts, what was the trigger? When you mean the, the reading? Uh, no, 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 I mean your fantasy world. Well, why I'm asking no, so? No, I think I, that, that's a good question because what I notice and what I remember is that I was daydreaming uh -huh. all day. You know, when I had, I, you know, daydreaming, having these yeah. fantastic dreams. And afterwards, I actually find out that I sort of pick mm -hmm. from these old dreams. S so, oh, yeah. So you have been a soccer player? Yes. No way to daydream playing soccer. Just fully concentrating on, on no, the no, moment no, no. just now. And once you just change to ordinary clothing, going home to the intellectual atmosphere, your daydreaming starts? Yes. You know, I, I daydream all the time. You know, I, w not when I played, but I daydream all the time. And then sometimes, you know, it, it, you change your dream, daydream and suddenly it's a good story. Do you remember some of your fantasies or...? Of course I do, but I would be embarrassed telling them now. Come on. No, no don't worry. worry. You know, I, no. I was the greatest star in, on, on, on the planet. Now I'm embarrassed to, to tell you that. But, but I think the topic is interesting, mm -hmm. really, speaking about it. I, I haven't done it in the afternoon because daydreaming is, 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 is a bit shameful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. People don't talk to each other but, about daydreaming. But day almost dreaming. everybody do it. Do it, well, yes. Uh, for sure, every man sometimes has some daydreaming or any passing lady. Abs yes, that's another kind of daydream. <laughs> yeah. That's another kind of daydream. Then I believe that maybe some ladies probably they are supposed they, to have yeah, the similar I, I, dreams. I, I hope so. I, hope, so. Man is passing, I, I, for I hope they daydream. So, yeah, but then, us, yes. But <laughs> then there, there are the real stories. And then there well, are real what, stories. What, for example, doing here or something yes. and happening? Then, and then a daydream can turn into a real story. So I think it all started. I mean, being an author, first of all, I had writers at home. Mm -hmm. You know, many writers. So I think I. First of all, wanted to be a writer, look like a writer, even mm -hmm. before I wanted to write. You okay. know what I mean? Because yeah. we had writers at home. But then, of course, you know, I started to think about stories. It sort of evolved in my head mm -hmm. all the time. And when you started to write it, yes. at which age? Uh, that was in the, my teenage. Yeah, what was your approach to topic and to story? Did you start that you have the uh, crossroad of situations and from this you start to build up the story? Or is it that you have some interesting point and you start the story from before uh, uh, finalizing uh, uh, to the, to uh, the uh, I think position? I always started at the beginning and that was kind of a problem because you know, I really wanted to be good. You know, mm -hmm. I had you know, I'm, 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 I'm from the sports sections. So I wanted to be really good. So sometimes I had this great story, mm -hmm. but I never actually come to it because I was stuck in the beginning. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, well, I wanted to, to write this great beginning. Ah, precisely. Yeah, precisely. Just, well, so, you know, I can sit as a, as a, you know, a character in, in Camus, uh, the, the plague, okay. you know, sitting with the first sentence okay. <laughs> to find a perfect rhythm of it. And then you just rid of it and just let the heroes yeah, yes. to go on their yeah, lives? Yes, 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 yes. Do you remember some moment of, uh, you know, what I'm uh, looking for, I'm searching yes, for the moment for? Yes. When, uh, when the author said, well, I don't care, it's its own life and my work is to open it. 
So yeah. let's open the doors and let them. Okay. Uh, let the heroes to have their lives and sometimes only tick tock push yes, a yes, little yes. bit. Uh, when it changed in your approach? Okay. When you start to be just calm, well, I will see. Let yeah, but I think I, I think I actually never did because, you know, I, have, I had my fantasy, mm -hmm. but I also had my upbringing, my father, uh -huh. about having writing quality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I always, you know, felt the urge okay. to okay. write good. Uh -huh. So I'm sorry to say, I know writers who have the, the flow experience. Mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. yes, that, that, this is what I'm asking, about the flow yes. experience. But, That's but, it. but I'm afraid I really didn't have it. I was working hard and maybe I have some difficult uh -huh. writing. You uh -huh. know, I had, I had a bit of dyslexia. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I, have, I had a bit of a trouble mm -hmm. writing. And that was a problem in the beginning, you know, when I tried. But I think it became a super strength. Do you know why? Mm -hmm. Because it made me always work hard. That's right. Because I, That's I, right. I, I had so many friends who were more talented than, than I was. Mm -hmm. And they just wrote like this. Yes. And what happened if you, you write like this? It goes too easy. Mm -hmm. You don't develop. But if you beginning to work hard, yes. then you will become better and better and better and better. That's great. Yeah. That's great. You know, it's interesting that uh, as I have been talking with people from yes. very different topics, yes. usually it happened that something what seems to be just a disadvantage, some wrong development, y yes. helped them yes. to just create what they did. Yeah. So and sometimes it worked like that. I, yeah, and I think it's uh, like that for me. It I was hard, it was always hard. I I'm sure that your story must be hard because you made your phenomenal career just oh, step by you. step. Yeah, yeah. You yeah started very slowly, very just slowly. Son of a Big father. Yes, the, yes, the, the big father who was the, the shadow, writer, of, the my man. Life, shadow yes. of my life. Yes. And then started to be another writer. Well, the world is full of writers. Yeah. And he's even full of unsuccessful writers. Yes. So, oh, gosh. Yes. And everybody starts as unsuccessful. Nobody knows yes, him. So, uh, absolutely. the beginning is very hard. And then you started to work uh, in local newspaper. Is it right? Yeah, first the local uh, newspaper. And really yes. Step by step. Step by step. Big no, newspaper. No, 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 absolutely. So, I'm, I'm a bit of a late uh, bloomer. You know, uh -huh. I worked hard, and I think that was good as, as well when you are writing books that you had a long life. I, I don't think it's good to have your, you know, debut too uh -huh. early. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Some people can do it, but being a writer takes time. Oh, <laughs> it takes time because well, definitely all time. I'm yeah. sure that if you are writing any of these books, yeah. you are still writing. Yeah, it uh, goes no, here, no, or it there, every, not here, everywhere, there. and you always say. If you started in sports, you, you will always be in sports. So what you say to yourself, okay, this was my latest book, mm -hmm. but the next book, that will be the good book. Okay, that's, what I mean. And that's a very good approach. I yeah, like it that's very much. Good, yes. Well, so this is okay, but you will see my next book. And uh, is it sometimes the opposite? Well, the last books were very successful, but this one, what I'm writing just now, uh, no. I don't know. No, 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 absolutely. That's, that's right as well. That's the feeling of catastrophe. Well, you know, the feeling every time there that I, I will you fail, I, 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 will, I cannot do it. Yeah. And, and I always have that in one sense. But it also is a good feeling. Because it's motivating? It, it's motivating. It's very because good. if you are calm and say, you know, I'm ah, a star. It will be all right. I have, <laughs> I have talent. Yeah. It will be nothing. Because okay. then when you sit there, you have to have sometimes the feeling that you will fail, that this will be a catastrophe. Okay, so even in position that you have, the feeling of catastrophe is yes, still there. Yes, yes, and I, I, and I think I need it. I'm sure it I will help it. for many writing beginners yeah. who are feeling it may be pretty strong that even you have it. This no, very no, good. no, but I, good. I, I even think they should have it. And even if they are really saying, oh God, I'm good, I'm, it, mm -hmm. I'm writing so good. Maybe they're actually writing good, you should always doubt. Yes. That's yes. important for writing. Okay, okay. Uh, so, or maybe you can say it's, it's good for a writer to be a bit bipolar. Uh -huh. You see what I mean? Uh -huh. Sometimes uh -huh. you just. I'm a hero, I I'm believe it. I'm a genius. But yes. then you're, you just get the flow of your association, but you can't just do it. Uh -huh. You uh -huh. have to stop sometimes and doubt mm -hmm. and go into a little bit of depression. You mm -hmm. see what I mean? Yeah, Stopping yeah. I, doubting. I understand. Am I good enough? Yes. Will it do? And, and is it still good? Yes, Didn't yes. I lost the, yeah, yes, the, the, the source? Yes, so, so you need both. Because if you 
only doubting, uh -huh. there will be nothing. <laughs> who, who is your reader when you are in one or just the opposite position? Your wife? Yeah, or no, some my, friend? my wife is the, my first reader, but I always wait a bit because in the uh -huh. beginning I'm quite shamed what I do. Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. just sitting there, as I said, I'm still sitting there for you know ages uh -huh. with uh -huh. the start of the book, okay. with the first lines. So I mm -hmm. have to you know have written some before. I let anyone in. And talking about your career, what was for you very important moment? Definitely first book. Yes, it, it yeah, changed of something. Yeah, of course, oh, it course changed, changed everything. Course changed. Then maybe first international edition. When you say, yes, well, now yes. I'm out yeah, from yeah, Sweden. Yeah, 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 it, yeah. It probably starts. It yeah, goes. Yeah, is yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, you can say that. But it, it's it's such a small step. Mm -hmm. But uh, what can you say? I mean, I was, you know, one of those writers that was doing okay, and then this man happened, Mr. Slatan Ibrahimovic. Yeah. Yeah. Here in, yes. here in English. Yes, in English. Uh, here is uh, Ya Isan. And I wrote it, and I thought, you know, this was not a big step in my career, because I've written, this is sort of fine literature yeah, about yeah. Turing, and then I was supposed to ghost write yes, a book about the footballer, and that was not a thing you should supposed to do. So it didn't feel it that well, now I will open all the world because no, no, I have no, 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 famous no, no. I, heroes, no. so it will open the doors. No, and maybe I was thrilled because he was uh -huh. such a star and it was fantastic hearing his story, but what happened was actually that this became the fastest selling book ever in Sweden. Mm -hmm. and because of so many kids that never have read a book or never been near a bookstore or a library actually okay. bought it. So, and it so actually boomed and I got shortlisted for prices. Uh, so after this man, mm -hmm. you know, sort of the word suddenly opened and open haven't, up. Haven't you been jealous to Zlatan? Because we have been thinking, well, here are my You mean, stories. I, was, I was jealous of Zlatan. <coughs> I mean of the book of, about of Zlatan, that you, because uh, you had your uh, fiction uh, books before that one. Yes, yes, so yes. So didn't sir. you think that, well, you are asking me to be ghostwriter. I'm not a ghostwriter. No, 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 that was author. just a feeling. Just a, because they asked me to be a ghostwriter and I said no to everyone. But Slata was too big, so I couldn't say no. Mm -hmm. You know, he's so iconic in Sweden. Yeah. And then I tried to write it as a novel. And I think that's part of the success. Okay. You know, I didn't really... That's wrote the approach. Directly. You wrote I, it as a novel. I That's write, wrote it as a novel and it. find the, the essence of Slatan. Yes. You know, I'm yes. not quoting yes. him. I was listening to his story and I tried to, you know, step into his shoes and uh -huh. write it as literature. It's true, but I had a literary approach. Mm -hmm. So I told to myself, I'm Slatan in Bahamas. This is I'm Slatan. I'm Slatan. So Thank I had to you. sort of step and I sort of felt like an actor writer. You yes. know, I stepped into his shoes. And that was actually the beginning of the millennium, because I told my agent... You know, no, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, go on. No, I told my agent because something crazy happened to me when I stepped into a person uh -huh. that was my opposite. That because Slatan is my absolute opposite. Okay. I'm neurotic, he's mach machismo. Yes. So I said to, to my agent, maybe I'm best mm -hmm. when I go into other characters. Ah, uh -huh, so let me go in here. Yeah, right. No, no, I didn't say anything because I didn't think it was possible. Uh -huh. I mean, I, I thought, you know, the, the, the trilogy was over and finished. Mm -hmm. But after that conversation we had with a lot of uh -huh. wives, okay. people started to talking uh -huh. with each other, you know. Maybe David. Okay. And then suddenly I got a call from the, the publishing house. Very secretly I was smuggled in the basement and there they solemnly asked me, would you consider of continuing Steve wow. Larson's book. How was your feeling in this moment? Uh, is it that was good or is it bad? It should I be happy it, it or was, should I be... It was crazy and, and you know, I'm a journalist, as you know. So I felt like a journalist who got in a scoop. Mm -hmm. You get a feeling? Yeah. I didn't think, uh -huh. I didn't consider it. I just felt, wow, what a thing, uh -huh. what a challenge. So I just said, yes. Because, you know, I was thinking about it, that it I can't, well, I, I think that I can imagine, imagine how yeah. to try to be Zlatan Ibrahimovic and yeah. to write okay. like being him. Yeah. But I cannot imagine how to be Stig Larsson who loves his personal heroes yeah, of his yeah, movie. Yeah. This is so difficult. Yeah, that was difficult, but maybe I, I saw immediately the challenge of it. Then 
when we went public and whole Sweden and I mean sort of whole Europe went crazy and mm -hmm. saying you can't do anything like yeah, that. Yeah, I, I read some articles yeah, yes, even yeah, in yeah, Czech yeah. Then I was scared to death, of course. I mean, and then I certainly had this ca feeling of yeah, catastrophe. the opposite feeling. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> what I manage. But when I got the question, I just feel thrilled. Oh, okay. And how you start? How did you start at that time? Read How did I start? Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I read his book over and over and over and over, finding threads, and making that, notes, making notes. Really? Yes, make, I, I did notes. But the most important for thing was, of course, to understand the characters, but to find a good story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, and then I remember an so old story as I did as a journalist, mm -hmm. and then suddenly, boom! I sort of sensed that I had it. Uh, that, uh, to find a good story. That's, that's uh, magic that's formula. That's, that's something. Key, that's the key thing. You have a story because if you write crime fiction, you have the sense that everything is done. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. all the serial serial killers, yes. pedophiles, you know, uh, rapists, you can whatever. Surprise. I mean, how can you surprise? Yeah. You must find something that feels original. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, so here, just from the beginning, two main heroes. Michael yes. and Lisbeth, yes. they are very special. Yeah, this absolutely. is just a joker for the beginning. Two jokers for the beginning. Yes, wow. yes. Great yes. heroes. Yes. And now I need a story. Well, and I, yes, I, now yes. I'm you. I'm an experienced writer. I spent years in a, a detective stories. So yes, I will just pick some. And I will work on it. Yeah. Is it so? Was yeah, it like that? I mean, I, I, I was feverish. I had to find a story. And uh -huh. suddenly I did. And then I started writing, and then my head, you know, went spinning all uh -huh. day, all night, because you know I, this was a huge risk for me, because if I would fail, I sort of my authorship would fail. Well, I mean, yeah, actually. So you know, this is David. Risk. He has been trying to continue with this. Yeah, that, but yeah. have you seen that book? Oh. Yeah, no, it, it was a it, catastrophe. Yeah, and yeah, nobody it, bought it, and, and it, you, well. you sort of he destroyed Stig Larsson's reputation. Oh, we don't I mean, think so, but the we, loser, we, we, we will certainly not want him to do. No, no. So it was a huge risk, but something in that risk sort of triggered me. This is, I think, one of the biggest risks in the history of literature. Oh, that was really but, because, but, yeah. and it's on that way. This is one of the biggest success yeah, in literature yeah, because yes. it's unbelievable yeah, that it's you are so successful, continuing with the almost finished the story. Well, he died, you know, it's over. No, nobody no, can no. continue, and nobody will know how it should finish. And these things, uh, all the rumors around. So, congratulations, and oh, I'm thank really you. just thank absolutely. You. Fascinated by oh, the fact that it's so you know, by the you. fact that it's possible. Yeah, it's well, even yeah. possible to do it. And how has been communication with the readers? Uh, definitely, I mean, you uh, got I mean, many letters. Yeah, yeah. Yes, of course. Get I mean, rid of it. Uh, Hands off. Don't touch my books. That no, no, I love. No, 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 no. Yeah, but the, the crazy thing was that when you know the book was launched, there were sort of a moral panic. I mean, mm -hmm. everyone was after me, and there was you know headlines, and the first reviews were horrible. Well, they said it was the worst book sort of ever written, and I, I, I was so great. And in Sweden, it was at the beginning not successful. At yeah, the very it, first yeah, days, it, yeah, it was it was uh, commercial successful. Uh -huh. It sold immediately loads of books. Okay, but in the beginning, people were so the critics, the people, they well, were I'm so asking, angry. Yeah. Thank you for this. Oh, I'm yeah. asking because here in Czech Republic, we yeah. say you know, uh, the most difficult is to be successful at home. Yeah, because <laughs> everybody must say that you are yeah. good, good yeah. all around, yes. and then you can yeah. come back to yeah. Czech Republic, yeah. and they will say, okay, fine. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. So yeah. I'm happy to hear that it's yeah. in another country as well. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the book. So the people, you know, were angry. Yeah. yeah. So the, the crazy thing is, back then, people were angry that I actually wrote the book. Now people are angry that I'm stop writing yes. the books. <laughs> and well, I must ask, yes. do you stop writing these books? Yes. Yes, I do. I do. You should say it just to prepare the marketing no, no, space no, no, for no, the next no, book. No, 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 no. But I, I actually stopped writing that, and that's important for me mm -hmm. because that's what have developed me as a writer. And he, now the, he, you can continue here on your yeah, own. Well, I, have, anyway. I have an own series there, but I have to do new things. This was a you know, uh, historical mm -hmm. novel. This was a ghost-written thing about a footballer that you know was my opposite, and this was a crazy uh, continuation. Mm -hmm. And now I have to do something new. What do you mean? I, I, you know, I love the genre. I signed a contract for a new crime fiction series. Mm -hmm. So we uh, have you know written contracts, and now we have 
dealing with uh, publishing house all over the world. And that's I think, and I think I have a great idea. So now, very you good, know, that's triggered good. me because now people will say, "Oh, he will be nothing without Lisbeth Salander." Wow. Uh, now we have to prove that I can be good without her. And you have been big enough even before. Yeah, so yeah, right. I'm not right. afraid. No, I'm no, not no, afraid. No, no. no, I think I will manage. Or maybe I should have the, the feeling of catastrophe. Oh. Uh, both the heroes uh, for a few sentences on this topic uh, Michael and Elizabeth are people to to like them somehow definitely they should uh, will you miss them uh, yes but I'm also relieved okay I, I will miss them but I can always go back and think about them but I love them mm -hmm. but sometimes I think they were too strong and too stable. Mm -hmm, okay. You know what I mean? Yes. I, yes. I, I love her, but she's so strong. So maybe I, you know, have been longing for more vulnerable characters. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can you see that? Yes. Yeah. So I love them. This was in the, 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 the thrill of my life in writing. But now I need characters mm -hmm. a little more and like me. And will you be able to kill them in the book? Uh, well, well, I was, I was let, let anybody I, to kill them. I, I, mean. I was tempted. I was tempted, of course, yeah. you know. And but even the name, I, the girl I, which must yeah, die. Yeah, also. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there are two sisters, you know. Uh, so, yeah, I was tempted, but you know, I but finally I, they I both survived. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, they both survived finally. Y yeah. yeah well, you, now you, you're having a spoiler, but that's your job to do it. <laughs> but I can say that Michael and Lisbeth are too good to die. They will come back one way or another, but not by my pen. And that's that's the answer I wanted to ask. Would you be able just to give them to another author? Yes, yes, yes. I mean, I, I, I wish them not a happy life, but a dramatic life. Yes, that, that's <laughs> it, that's it. So, it, I don't, you know, mind. Okay. And I hope it will. they will do it with the same passion as I did. Yeah, so now you open the window, let the air change. Yes. And your head change. Yeah, well, my head change. Uh, they yeah. both are free. Yeah. I am free from them. Yeah. And now let's continue in my world. Yes. That's right. So, say something more about your <laughs> But now I have uh, the two new heroes, uh -huh. uh, and I'm flirting a little bit with Sherlock Holmes. You know, mm -hmm. so I have this man from the upper class. Mm -hmm. He's brilliant, but weak and full of depression. And then I have this girl who is street smart and strong from the ghetto. Okay. And they, she's a police officer. He's a brilliant professor and their life will connect and they will cooperate and I'm very interested in you know when different classes uh -huh. how they will interact uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, and I'm also as you may have noticed I'm very interested in science you mm -hmm. know, to use yeah. my yeah. interest in popular science yeah. and to you know have this professor to see bias in people's thinking Mm -hmm. And this, you know, I, I, I think I have a, quite a, a good story, so I'm, I'm, yeah, quite thrilled about it. I like very much how you can shape your world together. Yeah. Uh, what at the beginning seems to me that is very difficult just to even handle. Well, uh, just autobiography of a scientist, autobiography yeah. of a sportsman, yeah. uh, your own fictions, yes. and other author's fictions. Yes. How or life of a mountaineer. Yeah. How can you put all these things together? What kind of man will sit in front oh, of me? I'm so calm. And that's now it goes together. It fits. It works. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Everything it puts together. But that's the fun of it. You go into different words. Yeah. So. Uh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. No. 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 I. I mean, that's me. You know, I respect writers who write 20 books in the same series, but I mm -hmm. couldn't do it. I would be bored. Okay. I need new things, and now I may be in a position I can use all these different words, you know. But Putting the, the Slatan, you know, from the ghetto, I can put that in the book, and I can put, you know, uh, the Turing, yeah, the mathematician, yeah, yeah, and the yeah. smartness, and, and my own upbringing, sort of privilege, and I can bring it together. But it means that you still must be learning something. I will always learn. I mean, I, I hope I will st go on learning. I hope I will write my best book when I'm 80. Well, okay. <laughs> and then the mixture of topics. Yeah. <laughs> Homogenic mixture of yeah, topics. Then then we'll go then. Yeah. And then we meet again. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's done. That's done. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.